I want to be the reason somebody discovers something new. I want to be the person who introduces a new approach, a new mindset, a new way of thinking to an old biological problem or a biological problem that somebody's maybe been struggling with, maybe hasn't really found the full potential of. So I want to work with clinicians who have been studying cancer forever and say, hey, this is a new way for you to look at your biology and help them find something new and find something exciting. The overall mission of the Center for Advanced Genomics Technology is essentially to both pioneer and apply genomics technology. Our goal has been to basically bridge the gap between scientists and clinicians, but bring the technology forward so that we can harbor discovery, but then apply it to human health. The collaboration with CAGT has really been critical to our research and it's critical to our ongoing efforts as we strive to develop better treatments for cancer, as we strive to cure more patients, as we strive to decrease the risk for side effects and improve the quality of life of patients with cancer. The exciting parts of my job is being able to sit with a clinician or a physician or a basic scientist and ask them about their biology, understand the question that they're trying to ask, and then really think very big about how our technology and how the types of approaches that we have at our disposal can really help them make the next exciting discovery. I'm a medical oncologist. I focus on patients with bladder cancer. And one of the key discoveries in bladder cancer over the past several years has been that treatments directed at the immune system can be beneficial. One of the goals of our group is to understand why some patients respond so well to these treatments and why some patients don't. That's really the question that informs the work that we do. It's almost like being a matchmaker. Match the right technology to the right question and you get some really amazing biology that comes out. Matt Golsky has embraced modern genomic technology on various scales and levels in the sense that he doesn't just look at it from the patient-specific angle. He wants to dive deeper and look at bladder tissue, then down to the single cell level, then further look at what molecules are driving activation and response to disease and therapy. Tumors are very complex. There's so much going on. There's the instrument where we actually do all of the work and yields a whole bunch of images that we analyze on a very high-powered, you know, high-performance computing system. And we get these beautiful maps of gene expression. We've never looked at the biology at this level of resolution before. As a result of my collaboration with CAGT, we identified a signaling mechanism within a specific type of immune cell, which could be potentially targeted with drugs that are already available in the clinic for the treatment of other diseases like rheumatologic diseases. And so we designed a clinical trial to test this concept. It's that additional level of resolution and the spatial resolution that lets us look deep and see how these different patients are responding and how their immune systems are different. It's absolutely vital that CAGT exists in the Sinai sphere. We know so little about the human genome and the way that biology exists within each of our individual bodies. I would like to think that Matt says that I helped him do great science at a different level and that we helped him take novel technology, really exciting techniques, and just blow open his science and help him discover all kinds of new things. CAGT has really been an incredible partner for us. Their expertise in these new and emerging technologies has allowed us to be at the cutting edge. We're not just here to focus on developing the technology, we're here to harness that and integrate it into the veins of the healthcare system and translate that into a revolution of medicine that is cutting edge and innovative at Mount Sinai. We want to be a champion for genomic technology at Mount Sinai. New technologies are bringing hope to my patients.